In our previous video, we, we went through the primary break. Now we're going to go over the secondary break. So on your primary break, you're looking for generally a numbers advantage, a three on two or two on one advantage. Now, if that's not there because the defense gets back so quickly, you're looking at a secondary break. And what this usually involves is you have your wing players go to the corner, deep in the corners, and this leaves the middle open for your trailers to come in and make something happen. We're gonna go over the secondary break, so if your primary break doesn't work, you have your first trailer and your second trailer coming in. It's important to note that here, the wings are staying in the corner to create space in the middle so this can happen. So number five is a trailer, he's coming in, your point guard is bringing it up. At this point, he has the option to hit him for the pass. If he's open, take a shot. Otherwise, number five needs to cut down to a low post or the short corner. Now, let's say we go in, the first trailer doesn't have anything open, then the second trailer, number four, comes in. That's when you hit him for a three-point shot. Or, if that's not available, then this is your third option, which is number four, he or she, will come over and set a screen. And your point guard is going to go in, number four is going to roll. And here you have multiple options. You can take a shot. Five should fill uh, the, the space vacated by four. And you have multiple options, shoot, pass. So this is your general idea of how a secondary break usually works.